Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another smart contract hacking tutorial. This is the first video in the Damn Vulnerable DeFi series, the Damn Vulnerable DeFi version for solutions with Foundry. In this video, we will cover what is Damn Vulnerable DeFi, how it can help you become a better security researcher and smart contract hacker, and how to get started and start solving the exercises yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is Damn Vulnerable DeFi. It's one of the best capture the flag CTF challenges. By solving it, you can learn smart contract security and smart contract hacking. It has a series of challenges and recently it gone through a new update, then vulnerable DeFi version 4. Now this update comes with some new features. First, now they're using Foundry instead of Hardet, which is a huge upgrade. Second, they added some new exercises, new advanced challenges, like I think 17, 16, and 18 are all new. Third, the existing challenges themselves, they were changed and they revamped and improved to simulate like real life exploits. So first of all, you should definitely, if you already did them vulnerable DeFi before, you should give it a try and try to do it again because it's a good opportunity to one, learn Foundry, to get updated with new recent concepts, with uh, new challenges and new exploits and new vulnerabilities when it comes to smart contracts, and three, they added also some new challenges. So now that we understand what is damn vulnerable DeFi and why you should solve it and try to do the challenges yourself, let's see how you can get started and start solving the challenges. First, I want to say that this is the first video out of a series of videos where I will create a detailed tutorial walkthrough video for every single one of the challenges. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and check the playlist with all the other videos. I will gradually be posting them, uh, also attached with a full article solution. So if you prefer reading content rather than watching videos, you will have the written version as well. I'm also going to have a GitHub repository with the solutions, then Volable DeFi version 4 solutions by Johnny Time. Feel free to fork it, star it, or watch it. Go over to GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Which brings me to the next point of like, how do you actually start solving these challenges? So every challenge is a series of smart contracts with vulnerabilities which you need to find and then exploit. Make sure to exploit them and achieve some kind of final state that proves that you pass the challenge. And the first one, for example, is unstoppable. So you have the prompt over here, but how do you actually solve the challenge? You need to clone this specific repository over here. So this is the repository of the exercises, this one, then vulnerable DeFi. So you can clone this repository with git clone command. Uh, you just copy here the HTTPS or SSH URL, clone it to your computer and start solving the challenges. If you want to look at the solutions, check out my ad repository, which is a fork of the original one with the solutions. But if you want to solve them yourself, you need to uh, f just clone this original repository and start solving them locally on your computer. After you clone the repository and downloaded all the code to your computer, and here I open it with my IDE, which is VS Code, you can see this is the folder structure. Now here you can see that we have this file called foundry.toml, which essentially tells us that it is a Foundry template, Foundry project, and we need to make sure that we have Foundry installed in order to run the smart contracts and the challenges and the tests. So in order to install Foundry, you just go over to the official website over here, Foundry book, or just run this specific sample command, uh, curl minus L Foundry part paradigm.xyz at bash, which essentially going to download Foundry from this URL and then throw this output to bash and install it. So it's the installation script. Now I'm not going to really reinstall it, but you just open your terminal or it's the command line interface, just write this command. And the next command that you want to write is Foundry app, which is essentially going to update Foundry to the most recent version. Okay. So the first one is just to download it with this uh, URL. Second one is Foundry app. And the third one will be Forge Build, which is essentially going to uh, initialize the project, build the smart contracts, and make sure you are ready to go. So Forge is the main foundry command when it comes to um, running tests and so on. So now that you have the repository and you have the foundry framework installed, let's see how you actually 
solve it in exercise and how the exercise look like. So you have two main folders. One is the SRC one. I will zoom in a little bit over here. So we have the SRC one. In the SRC, we have a folder for every single exercise. For instance, the first one is unstoppable. So I'm going to open here the unstoppable. We have the readme file, which is essentially the prompt for the challenge. What is your objective? What you need to do in order to pass it and complete it. And then you have the smart contracts that are associated with this challenge. For example, this one has two contracts unstoppable monitor and unstoppable vault. So you have to read through the readme, then read the smart contracts, try to find and spot the vulnerability. Usually what I like to do when I find a vulnerability is I just like to use this audit comments to mark it. So audit issue and here something is wrong. And then once you find the vulnerabilities, you need to come up with a plan to exploit it and pass the challenge. The way you do it, we have instead of the SOC folder, we have the test folder, which consists of the test files or the tests that essentially are building the scenario, building the states. There, there will be your code to exploit a vulnerability and then the other code to check that you successfully exploited it. So for instance, if I go here to unstoppable, we have a folder for the exercise and then we have unstoppable.t.sol and this is the test file. Uh, you can see how it's all structured, it's foundry, so the tests themselves are written in Solidity as well, which is the huge advantage and the huge upgrade from them vulnerable D5 version 3. And you have some uh, variables, you have the setup section of the exercise and validation of initial conditions, and here you have the solution. So this is your section, code your solution here, here you have to write your exploit, right, test unstoppable, and this has the modifier check solved by player, and essentially it's going to run this is solved i guess function right so let's search check solved by player yeah it's gonna start and run this is solved and in this is solved you can see that it's the checks that the state that you achieved is the expected state for example for this exercise flash loan check must fail so it's trying to uh, request a flash loan and it expects it to fail because you need to break the vault that offer flash loan. This is the objective of the exercise. So for every exercise, this check is going to be different and this uh, exploit is going to be different. And this is essentially how you complete your exploit. Now, in order to test your exercise and see if you were able to pass the challenge, what you will have to do is go to your terminal and write forge test match path and then the path to the test file so in our case unstoppable.t.sol the full path from your relative folder of them vulnerable DeFi a repository and this is going to go and tell foundry hey i want you to run this test file and obviously now it's going to fail because we did not implement our exploit so the test fails but once we do implement the exploit you can see here what's the reason that it failed once we do implement it which i'm going to do right now but don't spoil the fun and do a spoiler for the exercise for you. So I'm not going to show you how I did it. And now I did it. So I'm going to run it again without showing you the solution. And now you can see that the test works, right? So once you solve the exercise, you should see pass, pass it, all the tests pass. And before you solve it, it should fail, of course. So this is Dem Vulnerable DeFi version 4. I highly recommend you to give it a try and try to solve the challenges. This is how you complete the exercise, how you run them. And this is the first video of the complete series. So definitely make sure to stick around, follow the channel, follow playlist. And if you get stuck, you have all the solutions over here. I hope you enjoyed this one and good luck with the challenges.